Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you my top beauty products of 2017. And I actually, coincidentally, have 17 items. So let's just jump into my favorite beauty items for 2017. First thing is a highlighter. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Moonstone. It's a pale gold shade, and I absolutely loved this for this year. That is the shade right there, and it was just my go-to highlight. I love this shade. It is so beautiful on my skin tone, and the Shimmering Skin Perfectors are just really, really beautiful. Apply nicely, aren't too chunky, things like that, and amazing product. And then I have the Smashbox. This is the step-by-step -step contour palette. I pulled this out for a roll rolling project 10 pan and this year I fell in love with it and wanted to keep using it after that rolling project 10 pan. So much so I've hit pan in two of the shades now. So this is the highlight shade. I love using it for setting my under eyes. This is the bronze shade, perfect for bronzer, and then a contour shade. I love this stuff. I'm going to finish it up. I really want to purchase a full size of this after, but I do need to use other bronzers in my collection before that. But man, this was some good stuff this year. Really, really happy that I pulled this out and gave it a good try this year. I loved it. Then, my favorite setting powder is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. I used up this year like the little trio set from the ambient lighting powder. Then I pretty much used the full size of this baby up this year as well. It's just perfect to set my foundation. It gives a nice sheen and glow to my face without being like too highlighty. It's just so beautiful, so like natural. It's my favorite powder. I love this stuff. Then I have two of the Stila. These are the Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. One shade here that I use the most, you can kind of see, I'm getting down there, is Sunset Cove. And this is kind of like a pinky kind of shade right there. I just, these have been so fun to play with over on top of eyeshadows or just on its own. So pretty. And then the other shade is Into the Blue, which I believe these two might be Sephora exclusives. Not 100% sure with that, but this is Into the Blue. But they're just so fun to play with. I haven't experienced any fallout or anything like that. They've just been a really fun, neat product for 2017 that I've been loving. Then for a lip product, I really loved the All Natural. These are the um, lip stains, and the shade I have is On Point. It is a cruelty-free vegan product. I got it from a Sephora, no, a Petite Vorbox, and fell in love with it. And that is the shade right there. It is so beautiful. has a really nice, natural, kind of fruity scent to it. I really love this. This stays on. The other lip product that I've really gravitated and used a lot was from The Balm. It's the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Committed. I have it in my purse downstairs, so I don't have it with me, but those two lip stains were my favorites this past year. Then for brows, I really loved the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel this year. I have used up one of these already. This is my second one for the year. It has a little kind of mascara spoolie brush. It's really easy to get into my hairs and have a light tint to it. Really love this stuff. It's very easy for every day. You just kind of throw it on and go. No hassle, no mess, and really loved it. I have a concealer here. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And I got this in June or July of this year. And there's so much buzz and rave, rave reviews and stuff about this product. I kind of kept pushing it off. I was like, eh, it's just a concealer. Just like the NARS concealer and the Too Faced and the Urban Decay everyone's all obsessed with. But this, seriously, after trying it, is amazing. The shade I have is Light Neutral. It has this huge doe foot applicator. I would not recommend to apply it to your face like that. I just honestly will take it out, pat it on the back of my hand, and then that's all I need. I just kind of dab my finger and then just apply it under my eyes, any blemishes, things like that. This will last you a while. You only need a little bit. You do not need to smear all over your face to cover anything up. 
it is very full coverage and will crease if you do that but if you use a little bit at a time it'll look good so I definitely recommend this concealer favorite blush was the hourglass this is the ambient lighting blush and mood exposure perfect for every day for me it's just a really nice natural blush I really have been gravitating towards um, hourglass products this year I've just been loving it the sheen that they give the natural kind of look and vibe that they give off is so pretty really love that blush uh, primer I really loved was the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base, and this is from the drugstore, and it has a kind of little applicator that looks like that. It's very easy to swipe on your eyes, pat down, and does a really great job at keeping my eyeshadow lasting all day. Really love this stuff. Then I have from NYX, this is the Epic Ink Liner. Now, you guys know I love the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. Found out that there were parabens in it this year, and this one doesn't. This is also drugstore, cheaper, and the line on this is so pretty. So it is what's on my eyes today. I really love this stuff. This is a perfect cruelty-free, drugstore, paraben-free liquid eyeliner. It's very black, stays on all day, and gotta love it. Foundation, Urban Decay Naked Skin. I don't know how many times I can tell you guys. This is an amazing foundation I wear every day and it's my favorite, shade 3.5. Skin care, I found a new face wash. This is from Pacifica. This is the Sea Foam Complete Face Wash. It says it removes makeup and cleanse and tone. And I use this after I remove my makeup and then, or sometimes I use this just to remove my makeup for my face, not my eyes. But I really like this stuff. It's very, like, fresh. I don't know if that's the word I would say. Like, if you have sensitive skin, this is perfect for you. It doesn't have a scent or anything to it or any, like, exfoliating particles. It's just a really nice, like... <laughs> cleanser. I don't know how else to say it. I don't really, I'm like missing the word in my head or something, but I really like this cleanser. I would definitely check it out. Wow, that was difficult. Then my favorite moisturizer is the Ole Henderson Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. use this pretty much every day. I absolutely love this stuff. Perfect for day and night. Then I found a new body lotion. These are the Body Shop Body Butters, and I have not tried them out ever before. This is the first year I tried them out. Um, I was recently using a lot of Bath and Body Works body lotions and body tubs like this, but they have some chemicals in there I am not a big fan of, and the cruelty-free status is kind of wavering. So a Body Shop is 100% cruelty-free, and I first picked up, this is the Mango Body Butter. This is my second or third one of these. Smells so good, so moisturizing. I love it for using all over my body. So this is like my second or third. And then this next one I'm almost done with. This is the Vanilla Chai. I believe it was just here for the holidays. But oh, so good. You guys can tell I've been scraping and digging out of this one. But those have been like my favorite lotions of this past year. And then lastly, hair. The Verb Hydrating Conditioner. I love this stuff so much. I tried a sample of it, got a small, purchased like a small bottle, and then purchased the big jug. Always having this in my shower. Love it. It's just a really nice hydrant conditioner. Can't go wrong with that. But yeah, those are all the items that I was loving in 2017. If you guys tried any of these products out, let me know what you thought of them down below. If you have any recommendations for me to try this upcoming year, let me know as well. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching.